Hey everyone, today I want to show you a simple Excel trick to make combining text much easier. If you've been using concatenate to join words or pieces of text, let me introduce you to a better way, text join. This function is more flexible and can save you tons of time, especially when dealing with longer lists. Let's first talk about some of the issues with concatenate. Imagine you have a list of names first, middle, last, and suffix. With concatenate, you'd need to join each part by writing something like this formula, which you can see in the formula bar. This does the job, but the formula looks long and cluttered. Plus, if there's any blank cell, like if someone doesn't have a middle name, concatenate still leaves that empty space, which can make things look messy. And if you're dealing with a big data set, repeating this process gets time consuming and hard to manage. Now, this is where text join steps in and makes everything easier. Let me show you how. First, let's combine text using concatenate and see the problems and limitations it has. So, let's start. Here is our data table and we've been given the task of combining all parts of the text to make a full name. I'll click on the full name cell, D3, and write the concatenate formula. For every cell value that needs to be combined, I'll use curly quotes to give a space between parts of the text, so it looks normal. And you can see how difficult and time-consuming this formula is. Also, notice that wherever there is no middle name, the formula has inserted an extra space, which makes the result look messy. Now I'll use text join. The first thing it asks for is a delimiter, which is just a fancy way of saying separator. Here I'll use a space between each name, so I'll type curly quotes, then add a comma. Next, it asks if we want to ignore empty cells. I'll type true here. By doing this, text join will skip any empty cells and keep the text clean. No awkward extra spaces in our final result. This is a huge improvement over concatenate. Finally, I just select the range of cells I want to join. Instead of selecting each one individually, I can just highlight cells from G3 to J3. So this is the final formula, and now I hit enter, and it's all done. Neat and simple, without any extra spaces from blank cells. So if you're still using concatenate, give text join a try. It's simpler, cleaner, and saves you from extra work. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you'd like to learn about other handy Excel functions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.